Hi there, welcome to what hopefully is quite a quick video uh, explaining how to answer a four mark question um, in the sociology AQA exam. Uh, this is one of the methods in context questions, so it's looking at research methods um, and then applying them to the context of a specific topic. Now, this is one of the questions that you'll come up with in the exam. Um, it is by no means the only question. There are some longer ones, there are some essay ones as well but this is one that we are going to be focusing on quite a lot in our looking at research methods because it's it's quite a, a specific um, obvious research orientated question um, and therefore is really helpful for us to get our heads around as we are studying research methods so the structure of the question goes like this and you will always see these words in the four mark methods in context question. So it will ask you to identify and explain one, and then it's going to be either an advantage or a disadvantage of using a specific research method, such as questionnaires or observations or longitudinal studies, whatever it might be, to investigate. And then it will have a specific context. Now, the context in the exam will relate to the topic in which the question comes up. There are four topics in total in your exam, families, education, crime and deviance and social stratification. Now, as of yet, you've not studied any of those and therefore the context that we look at is going to be a lot more general at the moment than it will be in the exam. But as we go through the course, we will do more of these four mark questions and we'll apply them more specifically to what we are learning about at that time. So it's going to be applying research methods to the context of a sociological topic. For today, we are going to look at family, but it's quite a general topic which you are going to be accessing and going to be able to access um, without having studied the family unit. So before we look at what the question is, we need to understand how we are being assessed and what is being assessed in that question. I'm a firm believer that you are going to be really, really well equipped if you know what the assessment objectives are in the exam and you, you know what to look out for. And if you know what to look out for and you know what the examiner is looking for, then you can tailor your answer to suit what the examiner wants to see and wants to read. It's almost like you're, you're treating this a little bit like a game and you are working out the best ways of winning that game. And I believe that assessment objectives are a great way for you to really play that game and, and to really get the most out of your answer. It's, it's about applying what you know in the correct way. So in the whole sociology paper, not just in this question, but in the whole of the exam, there are three assessment objectives. Now we call those those AOs. Okay, and in this question, in the in the methods in context four marker, you are being assessed on AO1 and AO2. So the first two assessment objectives. And all three of them look like this. Okay, so if you look down the left hand side, you've got AO1, AO2, AO3. In the middle, you have got the description, and this is the description that is seen on the AQA mark scheme. I have not dumbed it down for you. I've not taken anything out of it. All I have done is I have underlined the key words that relate to us in this question. OK, so AO1 is demonstrating knowledge and understanding of sociological theories, concept, evidence and methods. Put simply, AO1 is asking you to show that you know something about social theories, social concept, social evidence and sociological methods which we're looking at today. That's why that's underlined. So in this four marker, you get a maximum of one mark for AO1. So you get one mark if you tell the examiner either an advantage or a disadvantage of a particular research method because you are demonstrating knowledge and understanding of a research method. Okay, AO2 
in general is applying that knowledge so it's more than demonstrating it's now applying it um, that knowledge and understanding of sociological theories concept evidence and methods so what you're being asked to do is take that first step of this is an advantage this is this is a good thing or a, or a negative thing about a certain research method and then in the four mark question you get a maximum of three marks for applying it to a specific context so here is a basic advantage of a questionnaire and this would help you to study this topic yeah this context so you're taking what you know and you're applying it to a specific sociological context that is AO2 okay later on we'll look at what AO3 is in more detail but don't worry about that for now because that's not part of this question so one mark for AO1 and three marks for AO2 and because of that because there are four marks available I am suggesting you spend four minutes on your question and you try to write four sentences four minutes four marks four sentences okay now this here is an example of a question that would be a four mark methods in context question I'm going to read it out identify and explain one advantage of using questionnaires to investigate rates of marriage in the United Kingdom Okay, I'm going to read it again. I'm going to pick out the key points. Identify and explain one advantage. You are looking at advantages, not disadvantages, of using questionnaires. You are looking at questionnaires, not interviews, not observations, not anything else. So it's advantages of questionnaires, and you are applying that to the context of rates of marriage in the United Kingdom. When we talk about rates of something, so rates of marriage, rates of divorce, rates of death, we're looking at if they are rising or falling. The number of marriages in the UK is the rate of marriages going up, i.e. are more people getting married, or are, is the rate of marriages going down, i.e. less people are getting married than they were before. How can we use questionnaires to find that out? How can we use questionnaires to find out if rates of marriage going up or down? So the first thing you're going to do with this question is you are going to look at A01, which is describing or demonstrating knowledge of social research methods. So for this, I would like you to demonstrate or identify an advantage of a questionnaire. That is A01, and that would look like this. You would say one advantage of using questionnaires is nice and simple, to the point, you know exactly what you're talking about, and it's very clear for the examiner that you are here focusing on A01. That is your first sentence. So once you've written that general advantage, not yet relating it to the context, just giving a general advantage of a questionnaire, you then move on to AO2. And this is where you build up your next three marks to get a total of four. You are explaining what that advantage is. OK, you are explaining what that advantage means in a bit more detail. You are also linking it to the context of rates of marriage. So the four red arrows, you are explaining that same advantage that you've just identified, and you are explaining how that advantage of questionnaires would help you to investigate rates of marriage in the United Kingdom. So that's AO2. You're now applying your knowledge and your understanding of methods to the specific context of rates of marriage in the United Kingdom. And your sentences could look like this. This isn't like a, a biblical text. You haven't got to follow these exactly, but they're quite a helpful structure of just you taking your identification of an advantage to then explaining it in context. You could say something like this. This means, so you've just said one advantage of using questionnaires is, what does that mean in more detail? Give us a bit more detail about that. Show that you really know what that means. And then you're moving on to looking at um, in context of the, the, the topic. This would help you investigate rates of marriage because, and this would lead to. Okay, remember in, in social research, you are looking at leading towards uh, a conclusion that either 
backs up or contradicts your hypothesis. So how would this help you as a sociologist? How would this advantage really help you? If I was to put this into uh, a paragraph, it might look like this. Sentence one would say, one advantage of using questionnaires is that they allow you to produce quantitative data over a large sample. OK, just producing quantitative data is fine, but that's not necessarily an advantage that is bespoke to questionnaires. OK, producing that quantitative data over a large sample is an advantage that is really specific to questionnaires because they are the research method that allows you to um, conduct research over a large sample because they're cheap, they're practical, they're easy, etc. Yeah, so that's the big advantage here. You can produce quantitative data over a large sample. It's really, really helpful if you've got in your mind two advantages and two disadvantages for every piece of every research method that we study so that when this question comes up you can just go boom here is an advantage here's a disadvantage and then link it to the research, to the topic later sentence two this means that you would be able to compare lots of responses and summarize results in graphs okay i'm just explaining in a little bit more detail what i put in that first sentence but i've still not linked it yet to um, the rates of marriage in the UK that comes up here. This would help you to investigate rates of marriage because you could ask thousands of people in the UK to select whether they are or ever have been married. You are now linking sentence one and sentence two to sentence three. Sentence one was that you can collect quantitative data over a large sample. Sentence two is why that's helpful. Sentence three is that in the context of marriage, you are doing this. You are literally getting thousands of quantitative responses. Yes or no. Have you ever been married? Yes or no. Are you currently married? Really, really simple. Really, really easy. Sentence four. This would lead to a large amount of data which you could compare to previous studies. Remember, rates is about comparing what's going on now to what happened before and seeing if things are rising or falling. So you can compare to previous studies to see if rates of marriage have increased or decreased over time in the United Kingdom. And that is a perfect four mark answer where you have clearly identified and explained one advantage of using questionnaires and why that would help you investigate rates of marriage in the United Kingdom. So how about you have a go at your own question on show my homework? There are a lot of questions up there. Pick two of them and give it a go following this structure. If you need to tweak some of the sentence starters, that's absolutely fine, but have a go at the structure. Make sure you tackle AO1 and AO2. And if you need to use this video again for help, please do. Thanks very much.